Besides the distance time graph, we can also draw something called a speed time graph. A speed time graph compares the speed to the time. So now let's compare the speed time graph with the distance time graph. The car was at rest. In a distance time graph, you would draw a straight horizontal line. If the car was at rest on a speed time graph, you can see here that the speed would remain at zero. No matter the position of the car, you would always draw a horizontal straight line and it would always be at zero speed. Let's compare when the car is moving at a uniform speed. At a distance time graph, it will be a straight horizontal line. However, on a speed time graph, the speed will be constant. Therefore, plotting a graph 0, 10, 1, 10, 2, 10 and onwards, you will get a straight horizontal line. Previously, we talked about acceleration on a distance time graph. So now let's compare that with a speed time graph. So here refers to the actions of one object. The first one we're going to plot is the object's distance time graph, which is we compare the time with the distance. So 0 to 0, we plot it over here. The next time 1, compared with 5 distance. 2 with 20. 3 with 45. And 4 with 80. And finally, 5 with 1, 2, 5. With these plots, you can see that um, as we have mentioned before, if it's constant acceleration and speed is increasing at a constant rate, the distance time graph would produce an upwards bending curve. Now let's try it with the speed. We're going to do this uh, part of the graph in this part. We're going to compare speed with time. Firstly, it will be zero time and zero speed. It starts off at rest. Next, at one second, it has reached 10 meters per second. 2, 20. 3, 30, 4, 40, and 5, 50. So over here, you can see that a speed time graph at constant acceleration will produce a perfectly straight diagonal line. Now let's do it for deceleration as well. So doing the distance time graph, 0, 0, 145, 280, 3, 105, 4, 120, and 5, 125. So, as we mentioned before, on a distance time graph, where it's decelerating, you should see a line curving downwards. If we look at the speed time graph, 0 50, it starts off at a high speed, but the speed is decreasing as it goes along. 1 40, 2 30, 3 20, 4 10, and 5 0. So this speed time graph will actually make for us a perfect diagonal line that is sloping downwards. So in summary, we are going to compare uniform acceleration and uniform deceleration on the speed time graph. Uniform acceleration would be a straight diagonal line upwards and the uniform deceleration would be a straight diagonal line downwards. So you may ask, so is there non-uniform acceleration and non-uniform deceleration? The answer is yes. If the acceleration is non-uniform and is increasing, on a speed time graph, the graph would curve upwards. So the speed is increasing, but the acceleration is also increasing. That's why the graph would curve like this. However, we have another case whereby if the speed is increasing, but the acceleration is decreasing. Which means the speed is still increasing, but the, the rate at which it is increasing is going down. So you will still get a line that is going upwards. However, the shape of the graph is different. It will instead curve this way.